University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello, residents of two of the most beautiful sets of buildings in England face each other tonight. Both tonight's colleges were founded during the reign of Henry VIII. Trinity College Cambridge was established in 1546 and is one of the university's largest colleges with well over 1,000 students. Its list of alumni includes some particularly fine minds, among them Francis Bacon, Andrew Marvell, John Dryden and Isaac Newton, although the poet Byron who repeatedly kept a tame bear in his room during his time as a student, claimed the life of the college was one of eternal parties, his companions being jockeys, gamblers, boxers, authors, parsons and poets. Despite such giddiness, the college has been series champion twice in the past, in 1974 and 1995. On the latter occasion, the team included Quasi Quateng, now the MP for Spellthorn in Surrey. Aiming to take the title for the third time, and with an average age of 20, let's meet the Trinity team. Hi, I'm Matthew Ridley, I'm from Northumberland, and I'm studying economics. Hi, I'm Philip Donoshek Zorko, I'm from Slovenia, and I'm studying natural sciences. Their captain? Hello, I'm Ralph Morley, I'm from Ashford in Kent, and I'm studying for a degree in classics. Hello, I'm Richard Freeland, I'm from Glamorgan, and I'm reading mathematics. Now, Christchurch, Oxford last won the trophy in 2008. It was founded by Cardinal Wolseley in 1524 when it was known as Cardinal's College. And when he fell from power five years later, it became the property of Henry VIII. Christopher Wren was a student there and later had a hand in its architecture, designing the famous Tom Tower, which overlooks the largest quadrangle in Oxford. Lewis Carroll was a student and teacher there, and it's where he first encountered Alice Liddell. More recently, it's provided locations for the Harry Potter films, and its great hall was the model for the hall at Hogwarts. So let's meet the four selected by the Sorting Hat to play on behalf of nearly 700 students. I'm George Greenwood. I'm studying politics, philosophy and economics. I'm from Exeter. Hi, I'm Andreas Kapstack. I'm originally from Belgium and I'm also studying philosophy, politics and economics. And there, Captain. Hi, I'm Ewan McCauley. I'm from Hong Kong and I'm reading chemistry. Hi, I'm Phil Ostrowski. I'm from Poland and I'm studying cardiovascular medicine. OK, well, you all know the rules, so let's just crack on with it. Uh, fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for ten. What given name links the third son of Edward VII and Alexander of Denmark, the fifth son of George V and Queen Mary, and the fifth son of Henry II and Eleanor of Aquitaine? Trinity Morley. John. John is correct, yes. <laughs> right, the first set of bonuses Trinity College are on a Greek philosopher. Epictetus, born in Phrygia around AD 55, is a philosopher associated with which broad school of philosophy? It's Stoicism, I think. Stoicism. Correct. The discourses of Epictetus were compiled in writing by his pupil Arian, a historian best known for his biography of which ancient ruler? It's Alexander the Great. I think. Yes, Alexander the Great. Correct. Epictetus was an influence on the philosophy of which Roman emperor, who quotes him repeatedly in his meditations? Marcus Aurelius. Marcus Aurelius. Correct. Ten points for this. What five-letter term denotes both a colourless, volatile liquid and a substance that was once thought to fill the universe and through which... Trinity Donojig Zorko. Ether. Ether is correct, yes. <laughs> OK, the second set of bonuses for you, Trinity College, that are shared surnames. In each case, I want the surname shared by the following pairs of people. Firstly, a religious reformer born 1624, the founder of the Society of Friends, or Quakers, and the winner of gold medal in the men's 100-metre backstroke at the London 2012 Paralympics. Fox. Correct. Secondly, the Welsh poet born 1871, who wrote the autobiography of a super tramp, and the winner of the gold medal in the men's discus at the 2012 Paralympics. Davis. Correct, W.H. and Alid. And finally, the director of Picnic at Hanging Rock and Gallipoli and the winner of the men's 800, 1500 and 5000 metres as well as the marathon at the 2012 Paralympics. But it was a weir, wasn't it? Peter Weir. Yes, yes, it was Peter Weir. Peter, no, but Weir is all I wanted was so Peter and David Weir is correct. Right, ten points for this. Introduced by the US sociologists George Kelling and James Wilson in 1982, which sociological theory holds that the vandalism of a few eponymous... Trinity Ridley. Broken windows theory. Correct. 
third set of bonuses for you. They're on diagrams in physics. Originally believing it to represent possible evolutionary paths, the astronomer Edwin Hubble developed his tuning fork diagram in 1926 to plot the morphological varieties of what objects? Um, stars? Stars? No, it's galaxies. Born 1864, which German mathematician gives his name to a diagram that plots space along one axis and time along the other? Anyone have, okay. no. Lorentz. No, it's Minkowski. And along with Henry Norris Russell, which Danish scientist gives his name to a diagram that plots stellar type by luminosity and temperature? Um, Hertzsprung. Hertzsprung is correct, yes. Ten points for this. He lived a brief, passionate, unhappy life. He wrote magnificent poetry, and he introduced a new word for kiss into the European languages. These words of the classicist Gilbert Hyatt refer to which Roman poet... <laughs> Trinity Morley. Catullus. Catullus is correct. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on film directors and opera at Trinity College. Noted for his 1975 film of The Magic Flute, which Swedish director staged the Threepenny Opera and The Merry Widow early in his theatrical career? I'm going to name a Swedish director who isn't Bergman. Okay, right, we'll try it. Yeah, we'll try it. Bergman? Correct. His films, including The English Patient and Cold Mountain, which director produced Madame Butterfly for the English National Opera in 2005? I went to, I went to see it as well. Oh, um, um, I should know the English Patient. patient. Um, um, Mingela? Is it Mingela? It, yeah. it might be. Go for it. Anti Mingela? Correct. Noted for his MTV style treatment of Romeo and Juliet, which Australian filmmaker produced a version of La Boheme on Broadway in 2002? Baz Luhrmann, I think. Baz Luhrmann. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, of course. Baz Luhrmann. Baz Luhrmann is correct. We're going to take a picture around now. For your picture starter, you'll see a map showing four places whose names share a common suffix. For ten points, I simply want the two syllable suffix. Christchurch Macaulay. Hampton. Hampton is correct, yes. Southampton, Northampton, Littlehampton, Wolverhampton. Right, your picture bonuses, three more maps showing places in the UK with a suffix in common. Five points for each suffix you can name. Firstly. Um, that's Hampshire, wasn't it? No, that's Hampshire. What's the one next to that? Chester, maybe. Um, yeah, do you want to try it? Chester. Chester? No, it's Berry, Banbury, Salisbury, Newbury, Shrewsbury. Mm. Secondly. Stubble? Okay, a stubble? Uh, no, it's Ford, Guildford, Hereford, Romford and Biddeford. And finally... Is that which? Yeah, which, like Greenwich. Yeah, uh, which? No, it's Ness, Sheerness, Skegness, and Inverness. Ten points for this starter question. In 2012, which newly published novel was described as relentless socialist manifesto masquerading as literature, and perhaps more accurately likened to an episode of Postman Pat written by the makers of the League of Gentlemen? Set in the fictional village of Pagford, it marked its author's Trinity Ridley. The Casual Vacancy. Correct, J.K. Rowling, yes. Right, your bonuses are on world languages this time, Trinity College, according to data from the linguistic service Ethnologue. Ahead of Indonesia, which country has the largest number of indigenous languages of any in the world, with more than 800? Papua New Guinea. Correct. With around 100 indigenous languages in a population of little more than 200,000, which Pacific island state is one of the most linguistically diverse in the world? It was formerly the British-French condominium of the New Hebrides. Vanuatu. Yeah. Vanuatu. Correct. Which populous country has the largest number of indigenous languages of any in Africa, with more than 500? Nigeria, maybe? Nigeria. Nigeria? Correct. Ten points for this. Lac Danesi by Cézanne, La Loge by Renoir, and Self-Portrait with a Bandaged Ear by Van Gogh are paintings in the collection of which gallery, named after its co-founder, the chairman of a textiles firm, it's located in Somerset House in London? Trinity Morley. At the Courtauld Institute? Correct. These bonuses...
Trinity College are on an English painter, a favourite painter of Queen Victoria. Which artist is noted for sentimental representations of animals, including the old shepherd's chief mourner and dignity and impudence? I've heard of him before, but um, something Burrow possibly? But, but, uh, he's too late. Um, Burrows? No, it's Landseer. Secondly, depicting polar bears amid an Arctic shipwreck, Landseer's painting entitled Man Proposes, God Disposes is thought to have been inspired by a lost expedition of 1845 to discover the Northwest Passage. Who was its commander? Sir John Franklin, I think. Okay. Sir John Franklin. Correct. Satirising the legal profession, Landseer's 1840 work, Trial by Jury, or Laying Down the Law, depicts what animals in the roles of members of the court? Um, rabbits is my first pigs. guess. I don't know why. Pigs, maybe. Pigs. Pigs. Oh, pigs. 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 No, it's various types of dogs. Ten points for this. Awarded the Nobel Prize in 1913, the Dutch physicist... Haker Camelianis discovered which phenomenon related to the loss of electrical resistance at extremely low temperatures. Christchurch Macaulay. Superconductivity. Correct. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on geometry, Christchurch. In geometry, what term describes a topological space, each point of which has a neighborhood homeomorphic to the interior of a sphere in a, in a Euclidean space of fixed dimension? Absolutely not. Um, do you, do you know? Um, torus? No, it's manifold. Named after its discoverer, which closed two-dimensional smooth manifold can be realised in four dimensions as a bottle whose inside and outside coincide? That's Klein. Klein. Correct. If the Klein bottle is cut in half down its length, two copies of which one-sided surface result formed by half-twisting a rectangular length of material and joining the ends? Uh, Mobius strip. Correct. Right, ten points for this. The Trolley Song and The Boy Next Door are among songs performed by Judy Garland in which film of 1944, centering on the impending move by the Smith family to New York City in the days leading up to the 1904 World's Fair? I'll tell you, it's Meet Me in St. Louis. At last we found a chink in your armour. Right, ten points for this. The first five Roman emperors were, respectively, the great uncle, uncle and stepfather, son, brother and grandson of which Roman consul and general who died, possibly of poisoning, in Syria in AD 19? Christchurch Greenwood. Uh, Crassus. Nope. One of you buzzed from Trinity. Trinity Morley. Germanicus. Germanicus is correct, yes. These bonuses are on pairs of words that are often confused. Listen to the definitions and give both words, ensuring that the order of your answers corresponds to that of the definitions. All six answers begin with the same letter. Firstly, for five, two five-letter words, meaning deduce or conclude from evidence and indicate by hints or suggestion rather than overt reference. Infer, imply, okay. Infer, imply. Infer and imply. Correct. Secondly, gradually, subtly, or imperceptibly harmful, and likely to arouse resentment. Um, hmm. Anyone, any suggestions? No, I don't think so. Pass. It's insidious and invidious. And finally, two similar words meaning confined or imprisoned, usually for preventive or political reasons, and buried in a grave or tomb. In, in, that's interned and interred. Uh, yes. Interned and interred. Correct. We're going to take a music round now. If you're a music starter, you'll hear a piece of popular music. Ten points if you can give me the name of the group performing. Trinity Dodnoshek Zorko. Pink Floyd. It is Pink Floyd, yes. <laughs> now, unusually for rock music, Pink Floyd's post war dream features a harmonium a keyboard instrument that produces sound by blowing air through reeds. For your bonuses, you're going to hear three more artists performing songs featuring a harmonium. For five points each, I simply want the name of the artist or the band. Firstly, this singer. Well, it's harder than Wait. Tom Waits. Tom Waits. Waits. Tom Waits. Correct. Secondly, this band. Yeah, to, to play. I don't know. Lyrics. There need to be lyrics, otherwise. 
Um, oh, is this the radio's word? Should we try that? Yeah, the weird. Radiohead. Oh, that's Seagull Ross. And oh, finally, this band. Radiohead again. That's correct, yes. Yeah. Right, ten points for this. Answer as soon as your name is called. How many possible four-member university challenge teams can be formed from a group of seven students? Trinity Freeland. 210. No. Christchurch? Promise Judge Macaulay. 35. Correct. <laughs> right, bonuses are on deviations in the International Date Line, Christchurch. The International Date Line bends to the west in the Northern Hemisphere to ensure that which chain of over 300 volcanic islands shares a calendar day with Alaska? Um, Aleutians. Correct. Hawaii is GMT minus 10, and the line islands, 1,000 miles to the south, are at GMT plus 14. This is due to the redrawing of the date line to circumscribe which island state? Island state. Um, what's the furthest west one? I think, um, it'll be like Palau or something. One of those Vanuatu. Random ones. Yeah. It's Vanuatu there. They've already had Vanuatu as an answer. Okay. Um, I don't know about Palau. Yeah, um, yeah Palau has not killed. Oh, it could be Marshall Islands. Yeah, let's give them Marshall Islands. That's Kiribati. Mm -hmm. And finally, the international date line deviates to the east through which strait in order to avoid dividing Siberia into time zones of different calendar days? I thought it would be the Bering Strait, wouldn't it? Yeah. Bering Strait. Correct. Ten points for this. What part of speech or lexical category links a horror novel of 1986 by Stephen King, a dystopian novel of 1921 by Evgeny Zemyatin? Trinity Dornozhik Zoko. Uh, pronoun. Personal pronoun is correct. Yes, we, it, and she. So you get a set of bonuses, Trinity College, now on optical devices. Firstly, for five points, in an astronomical refracting telescope, where's the final image formed? No idea. The something plane. The, 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 the image plane. The image plane. No, it's at infinity. Oh. In an astronomical telescope with an objective focal length of 90 centimetres and an eyepiece focal length of 10 centimetres, what's the magnification? It's going to be... Times 10, you've got, it's got to be dimension, that's why the times 9 or times 1 ninth and probably times 9 if it makes everything bigger. Times 9? Nine is correct. In optical devices, what name taken from a 19th century Italian inventor is given to a set of totally internally reflecting prisms used to change the orientation of an image but not its magnification? Um, okay, so the tactic here is 19th century Italian inventors, anyone? Uh, um, uh, Volta? Uh, anyone who's just. Yeah. Volta. Volta. No, it's Poro, Poro prisms. Ten points for this. Leonid, Tregerig, and Gwenedeg are among varieties of which Western European language? Lacking official or regional status, it's closely related to Cornish. Trinity Morley. Breton. Breton is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on films whose titles contain a word from the NATO spelling alphabet. For example, the Delta Force or Golf Punks. In each case, <laughs> name the film from the description. Firstly, a 1972 drama starring Marlon Brando and Maria Schneider set in a major European capital. Uh, are there any major European capitals that I have? Um, no, I don't think so. Um, oh, um, um, Last Tango in Paris. Okay. Last Tango in Paris. Correct. Secondly, a 1965 science fiction film directed by Jean-Luc Godard and starring Eddie Constantine as Lemmy Caution. Okay, so this is French science fiction, which I can't do. Um, 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 films by God that aren't breathless. I don't know. Um, make up a name. Come on. <laughs> Let's have it, please. Zulu. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting answer. No, it's Alphaville. And finally, a 1949 Ealing comedy about the aftermath of a shipwreck in the Hebrides. Whiskey galore, isn't it? Whiskey galore. Yeah. Whiskey galore. Correct. Ten points for this. In chemistry, what would be the colour of a phenolphthalein solution at APH? of above 9.6. Price Church Macaulay. Pink. Pink is correct, yes. 
These bonuses, Christchurch, are on physics. What precise term is used to describe a wave where the particles of the medium oscillate at right angles to the direction of propagation of the wave? Uh, that's transverse. Yeah. Transverse. Correct. What term yeah. is used when the oscillation is in the same direction as the propagation of the wave, such as happens in a gas? Uh, longitudinal. Correct. And finally, the average power transmitted by a sinusoidal wave is proportional to both the amplitude and frequency raised to which exponent? Um, let's go for uh, the second exponent. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. let's go for square. Uh, two. Yes, the second power, yes. Right, we're going to take a second picture round now. For your picture starter, you'll see a couple from European legend. For ten points, simply name the couple. Christchurch Macaulay. Abelard and Heloise. Anyone like to buzz from Trinity? Trinity Donoshik Zorko. Tristan and his old. Correct. Your bonuses are other representations of historical or legendary lovers. Five points for each couple you can identify. Firstly, this couple from Greek and Roman mythology. Maliga and Atalanta, because it's a hunt. Yes, that's a good What were you saying? Maliga and Atalanta, because it's a hunt. Yeah. Maliga and Atalanta. No, it's Dido and Aeneas. No. And secondly, this historical couple. Eloise and Abelard. Maybe, maybe it is. It's historical. So, uh, Eloise and Abelard. Correct. And finally, this couple of British legend. Um, that's, 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 I'm guessing it's Arthur and Guinevere. Is that Arthur and Guinevere? Yeah, but that seems it, to, it to make the most sense. Arthur and Guinevere? No, it's Guinevere and Lancelot. Ten points for this. Which fictional character had among his campaign medals the Egypt medal, the Queen's Sudan medal, and the 1914 star? The actor playing him... Trinity Morley. Lance Corporal Jones. Correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses, Trinity, are on Scottish towns whose names contain only four letters. Name the town in each case. Firstly, a town in Clackmannanshire at the foot of the Ockhill Hills. It's probably unconnected with the given name of the inventor of the phonograph. Phonograph is that's Edison, isn't it? So Thomas says something about Alva. Oh, Alva. 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 Possibly, yeah, yeah, could be. Alva. Correct. A town in Berwickshire, close to the English border, probably the birthplace of the scholastic philosopher John the Scot. Um, Duns, because he's Scottish. Dun, Duns. Go for it. Duns. Correct. A uh, seaport in Argyllshire now, the terminus of a railway from Glasgow and of ferries to Mull, Colonsay and the Western Isles. Oh, bam, I think, because that's where the railway line goes. So, anyway. Oban. Oban is correct. Four and a half minutes ago, ten points for this. Used in bronzing and in preparing imitation gold leaf, Dutch metal is an alloy consisting largely of copper with which other metal? Trinity Donoshik Zorko. Zinc. Zinc is correct. <laughs> Right, these bonuses are on science and the arts in the 18th century. In each case, give the decade that links the following. First, the publication of both Swift's Tale of a Tub and Newton's Optics. 17... He died in 27. Yeah, 1710s. 1710s? No, it's the 1700s. Anders Celsius's invention of the centigrade oh. scale, the publication of Henry Fielding's Tom Jones, and the first performance of Handel's Messiah. It's going to be 70, 40, 50, because Joan, Tom Jones was either 70, 40 now or 51, so... I think, it's 40s, I think 40s as well, I don't know why. 1740s? Correct. Finally, Lavoisier identified silicon, Sir William Herschel discovered Uranus, and Mozart's Marriage of Figaro premiered in which decade? 1780s, yeah. 1780s. Correct. Ten points for this. What two colours link the flags of Shetland, Somalia, Martinique, South Carolina? Christchurch Macaulay. Blue and white. Correct. These bonuses are on words that end with the letter X. In each case, give the word from the definition. Firstly, from the Greek for coal, an infectious bacterial disease that afflicts grazing animals and can be transmitted to humans. Anthrax. Correct. In geometry, each angular point of a polygon or polyhedron. Vertex. Correct. The brightest star of the constellation, Gemini. Um, Pollux. Pollux. Correct. Ten points for this. By 2015, which two large asteroids will have been studied by Dawn, a robotic NASA spacecraft launched in 2007? Trinity Freeland. Ceres and Pallas. No, anyone want to bust from Christchurch? Christchurch Macaulay. Ceres and Vesta. Correct. 
You get a set of bonuses this time, Christchurch, on cell biology. What mononuclear cells are responsible for bone formation? Uh, nominate Ostrovsky. Uh, osteoblasts. Correct. What term denotes the large multinuclear cells responsible for bone resorption? Uh, nominate Ostrovsky. Osteoclasts. Correct. And finally, what term denotes amoeboid cells with histamine, serotonin, and heparin granules that have an important role in allergy and anaphylaxis? Uh, nominate Ostrovsky. Mast cells. Correct. Ten points for this. Two minutes to go. What's the fourth largest island of the Greater Antilles after Cuba, Hispaniola, and Jamaica? Christchurch Greenway. Oh, would that be Granada? No, Trinity College, one of you buzz. Quickly. Trinity Morley. St. Lucia? No, it's Puerto Rico. Ten points for this. What name is given to the large square cushion covered in red cloth that acts as the seat of the Lord Speaker in the House of Lords? Christchurch Macaulay. Woolsack? The Woolsack is correct. These bonuses this time are on music. What precise term describes musical notes that are identical in pitch, but written differently depending on the key in which they occur, such as F sharp and G flat? Enharmonic. Correct. Known as the devil in music and regarded as difficult to sing, what musical interval was avoided in medieval times and has frequently been used in compositions to suggest evil? Triton? Correct. The interval corresponding to a frequency ratio between two tones of three to two is also known as what? Um, doubles every octave, doesn't it, sir? So it'll be a fifth. A Quickly. fifth. A fifth. A fifth is correct. Ten points for this. A meditation on the nature of love. Which of the romantic poets was the author in 1821 of the poem Epipsychidion? Trinity Dobnolshek Soko. Shelley. Shelley is correct. These bonuses are on surnames, all of which begin with the same three letters. In each case, name the person from the description. A French mathematician born 1588 who gives his name to prime numbers that have the form 2 to the power n minus 1. For example, 31, where n is 5. Nominate Freeland. Messen. Correct. An Indian film producer, secondly, noted for the remains of the day, Howard's End and the Bostonians. Oh, merchant, merchant, isn't it? Merchant. Merchant. Merchant is correct. A Flemish cartographer born 1512 who introduced the term Atlas and the map projection that bears his name. Mercator. Mercator is correct. Ten points for this. In internet usage, for what do the letters FTP stand? Trinity Donnoshik Zorko. File transfer protocol. Correct. And at the John Christchurch Oxford have 150. Trinity College Cambridge have 300. Well, although they had twice your score, you were a very strong team. They were just very, very quick on the buzzer, uh, Christchurch. <laughs> but I think you might well come back as one of the highest scoring losing teams with 150. We just had to wait and see. Yeah. But thank you very much for joining us. Trinity, that was a fantastic performance, and we should look forward to seeing you in round two, and who knows what after that. But thank you very much for joining us. I hope you can join us next time for another first round match. But until then, it's goodbye from Christchurch Oxford. Goodbye. Bye. It's goodbye from Trinity College Cambridge. Bye. Bye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.